Hey guys, welcome back to another Mega Man X2 video. In this video, we'll be taking out our first boss, and I usually start with Wire Sponge. Just because there's a couple really nice upgrades you can get in this stage. And the boss is pretty easy himself. I mean, he's a sponge. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how his boss design fits in with the uh, greenhouse level, but if you go up right here, you get your four, your first life upgrade. I don't know what they're called. Life flames, I guess. These crystal balls in this stage, if certain special weapons, I don't have any because I just started. Certain special weapons can change the weather inside this greenhouse. I think if you break it... No. I thought if you broke it, it changed like, it change the weather back to normal. Right now it went from being really hot to raining. I know there's two boss weapons you can change it from heat to rain. This part right here was always tricky going on. You gotta jump with the wind, and then you can get up here. There's a few things you can pick up, like for life. Most importantly, an E-Tank. You can fill these things up with... I messed up. Okay, cool. You can fill those E-Tanks up with life energy. And you pick up one right down here. Yeah, you have to be at full life for it to fill up. But anyway, once this is full of life energy, you can use it to restore your health at any time. This right here is an optional boss gate that will only be unlocked after, I think, about halfway through these first eight bosses. I don't know, you'll know there'll be a cutscene playing. And then you can beat the boss for special optional parts. That's required to get to get the true ending of the game, I guess. You can ignore those crystal balls, they don't really do anything. Seriously? Missed it. I've always thought the graphics in this game held up so well. They look amazing, even now. 2017. Music's awesome, graphics are awesome. It's not hard to see why this is one of my favorite games. I got it. Right here is a perfect place to fill up your E-Tank. It's almost full already. These screwdriver enemy guys respawn infinitely. Yeah, it makes a little noise when it's full. And that scorpion doesn't respond, I don't think. And here we are, first boss. So it looks like each stage is going to last about four minutes, four or five minutes. Unless I happen to die here. He shoots out these little vine tendril things. They don't. You can't destroy them with one normal Mega Buster shot. You have to at least use the level two charge, or shoot them twice with your normal attack. It's a good idea to clear them out. Clear them out as fast as possible. He shoots them wherever you're standing at. So if you move at the last second, you can avoid them. And they will stick to the wall of course, as you can see. Come on. And then when he gets low on life, he's got this uh, special mode he goes into, I guess. I think he does more da more contact damage now when he's electrified. It's basically the same thing. He's got that special electricity move. 
But not very hard at all. And like I said, that stage has got a life upgrade that's really easy to get and an E-Tank. There's four E-Tanks in the game. Off the top of my head... Yeah, I know what they are. I can remember. So we get the strike chain from him. This lets you grapple onto walls and pull yourself towards them. It's not that useful of a weapon. Well, there we are. First boss is defeated. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I will see you guys next time.